What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we have another battle on our hands between the Galen Leather Everyday Notebook and the Goulet Pens Exclusive Tomoe River Notebook. Effectively the exact same thing, but not quite. <laughs> same, same, but different, but still the same. So this is something that I have been using for years. Years. This is something I have been using for the last six months, roughly. And I thought it'd be very interesting to compare the two because they are shockingly similar. <laughs> so um, both of these you can actually buy at Goulet Pens now. Um, originally, you could only buy this at um, Galen Leather, but now you can purchase it at multiple retailers. Sorry for the shaking there. Um, this you can only buy at Goulet Pens. And that's it because it's the exclusive this is theirs this is what they make well they don't make it but you know what i mean so i have broken down the difference between them uh and i will run through that really quickly before i show you how they're packaged and whatnot because they're quite different um so for the galen leather notebooks you get three of them you cannot buy them <clears throat> just one at a time you get three of them they're 40 dollars canadian 32 dollars us uh, which seems like a lot, but if you break it down, it's $13.3 Canadian, it's $10.60 uh, um, US. Like I said, you get three of them. They're uh, 52 GSM Tomoe River paper, all white, blank, but it comes with line guides um, so that you get seven millimeter or 10 millimeter lines, seven millimeter or 10 millimeter graph. Um, packaged very well, which I'll show you in a moment, and available in many, many sizes and you get 64 sheets. So quick fact on that. Then you come to the um, Goulet Pens version. Uh, it is less expensive, uh, but you can buy them individually. So it's $9 for the 52 GSM, but something that they offer that um, Galen Leather does not is it's $8 if you buy a 68 GSM. I'm only including the pricing for the A5 size because that's what I have here both uh, versions, like the Goulet pens and the Galen leather pens, you can buy in a variety of sizes. We'll of course change the pricing, but just so you know, I'm only doing the A5 size pricing. Um, so $9 for 52, $8 for 68 in America, uh, 1134 Canadian uh, for the 52, 1008 Canadian for the uh, 68. Um, again, available in a few sizes. This one happens to be the line one here, which is um, seven millimeter lining. Uh, you can also get blank and dot, I believe, um, but for what I have here is lined. You get a craft paper cover uh, and you get 48 sheets. So in this, you get 64. In this one, you get 48. Um, so the, honestly, this one's a little bit cheaper, but you get more paper for this one um, than you do with this. Uh, and you also get slightly better build quality. Um, like I can't even really bend this one without both fingers, whereas this, whoa, <laughs> this one you totally can. Um, that said, uh, this one I never really used for anything that I cared about. It's just random stuff. My cat is scratching on her cardboard scratcher. So how do they come packaged? Well, to help keep costs down, I assume, Goulet Pens literally just ships it like this in a plastic sleeve with their little logos. Uh, and that's, that's it, this is how it comes. Galen Leather, on the other hand, has a different approach. <laughs> so when you get all three of them, they're packaged in a nice little kind of like zip up, bag which is kind of neat uh, and each notebook themselves if I can get it out of this bag I have other things in here um, are also packaged in plastic um, but they're like shrink wrap so it's like <laughs> it's in there real good um, and it also comes like I said with the line guides um, so it comes with things like this so this is the graph version, but there's also aligned and it comes with a blotting piece of like leather. <laughs> so they give you a lot of stuff. Um, 
you mostly will be familiar with this kind of packaging from them where it comes in like an enclosed envelope here. Um, so they definitely take a different approach to their packaging. You also get like a little kit, um, you know, they'll have like tea and a note and a little trinket um, with uh, goulet pens. You get a lollipop, but it's different every time. For me personally, being in Canada, unable to buy either of these within my own country, um, I give the edge to um, Galen Leather. Reason being is because it lasts longer, you get more, um, and the kind of like accoutrement that it comes with is nice. Um, and you're able to kind of choose your own adventure with the line widths. That said, I mean, clearly, I still have a lot of these too. Um, this was my ride or die for years and years. Um, recently, I have made the switch. I have absolutely nothing against Goulet pens with this, um, but I give the edge to this one only because it does take longer to uh, use up. So I go through them less frequently um, because ultimately for, for one of these, it's either um, $13 or $11. So for an extra $2, it's, you know, you, like I said, you get 64 versus uh, 48 sheets. Plus you can choose, you know, your own adventure with the line guides. You get the blotting paper. Um, I visually like the look of this one better. Um, ultimately, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can get them in, in varying sizes too. So they're pretty darn close. Um, for me, I appreciate that I can buy this at other retailers who may or may not um, offer the chance to um, edit some things so that I don't get hit with customs. If you're in Canada, you know what I'm talking about. Um, whereas Goulet Pens does not do that. They stick to the letter of the law, which is great. Sure. Um, but I get hit with customs from these guys pretty much all the time. <laughs> And by pretty much all the time, I mean basically all the time, like 95% of the time, um, which then increases the price to be basically more than this. So for me, that's why I choose Goulet or um, the Galen Leather uh, notebook, but I still highly recommend this one. Uh, ultimately, they perform almost identically because they're the same paper. It's Tomoe River. Um, obviously, the 68 is a little bit thicker, which means you don't get as much show through or ghosting um, than you do with the 52, which is what the Galen Leather is, and you have no choice on that. Um, so if that really, really matters to you, then Goulet pens might be the way to go. Um, but they're both great, to be honest. Um, I highly recommend both. Because at the end of the day, they're both Tomoe River paper. And do you really want anything more than that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's take a, a closer look. All right, friends and family, let's get up close and personal. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> they're, they write and perform very similarly. Uh, the only difference is that this is 52. This one happens to be 68. And I chose that on purpose uh, because you have no choice with 52. Whereas with the Goulet ones, you do have the choice between 52 or 68. Uh, and this way I can show you the difference. Um, so this I have used quite frequently. <laughs> um, it performs beautifully. Um, really the only difference, like I said, is that there's some show through. So you can see on the underside or the back sides of the pages, you can see all the stuff behind it. Uh, you can also tell that I just use this randomly. <laughs> um, and you're able to see all of it, all of it in all of its glory. Um, oh gosh, I just love that sound. Like even here, you know, in, in between you can see it. Now, it doesn't really bother me, um, to be honest, like, it just doesn't. Uh, it holds up like a champ. Uh, this is a, actually a 1.1 on the back, so you can certainly see it. Whereas with the something like a 68, um, this is just a random page where I was literally uh, writing down all the bath bombs and bubble bars that I had. I went nuts and lush back in the day. This is from like 2018. Um, you can see on like on the back end, 
but not quite as much. Now, clearly this is lined. Now, I'm also, like, it's not like normal writing. Like, I go bananas in these things. Um, but you cannot see it quite as much in real life. In camera, to be honest, <laughs> it almost makes it seem worse than, than this. But in real life, in real life, uh, it, it's not as uh, evident. But you can still see it regardless of whether it's 68 or not. Um, I have definitely done a ton of writing with these notebooks. Um, there we go. So you're going to be able to see it either way. You just see it less on the 68. Plus the individual papers um, are thicker than this guy here. Um, so ultimately, you know, it's, it's a, it's a choose your own adventure, <laughs> uh, between the two. The paper quality is pretty much identical, uh, on either front. Um, so really that shouldn't play a factor. Um, the main upset, if you will, is that you have a little bit more choice, uh, on this side of the fence. Um, but ultimately it's up to you. Um, for me, I appreciate the fact that this comes with three notebooks. Yes, it costs more, but you get a larger notebook. Uh, you get three of them instead of just one. Uh, this obviously has to come from Goulet Pens, so I have to order from the U.S. Uh, currently, I still have to order for, from the U.S. for this too, which is why I think I prefer that I get more because then I have to order less frequently. Um, whereas like half the time this is like sold out. So there's, there's two sort of sides of the coin. That said, before I discovered this, I have ordered many of these because they're still great. Um, and I still like them quite a bit. Um, so it, ultimately it's up to you. I would give the edge slightly to Galen leather. Um, because like I said, you get three of them. It's going to take you a lot longer to go through them. But I still highly recommend the um, Goulet notebooks. Um, I think that they're still an excellent bang for the buck. Um, and I still have no problem with it. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, ultimately, it, it's up to you. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've used either of them, which one you prefer. Um, and, uh, you know, just stay kind. <laughs> Uh, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. And as always, I appreciate you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.